listen uh, to create multi as a deployment so i'll go to my rds then i'll create a new which a new database instance okay i'll go to database listen listen please i'll go to rds so i'm going to create one new database so click on create a database listen listen please okay so i will select mysql or else you can select mariadb or whichever you want so i'm going to select mysql okay so here i will select development and test and now you can see see that multi az db cluster <coughs> right so i will select this multi az db instance okay so here you can see that create a primary db instance and standby db instance in a two different available zone provide high availability and data redundancy but the instance standby db instance doesn't support connection for read workloads what does it mean say so the present time it will not active so once the primary down then it will active okay okay then i will go down then i will create a database identifier as to and credential admin and master password i'll use admin admin let me confirm this admin admin so rest everything i will keep it as default okay public accessible that is yes so security group we can give default or auto scaling uh, security group so i'll select this ah then i'll create a database okay and it's going to create two database engine so listen it's going to create two database engine so we no need to create manually automatically they will identify they will create one primary and standby okay so once the primary is not active then the request will be go to standby exactly so i'll go to my batch azure okay so here you can see that we have a az1 and this is a primary database and this is az2 and this is secondary database okay so uh, the user will be able to access the primary one so if the primary is not accessible automatically it will go to secondary one and every time see whatever the data is generating on primary so that will be replicated to secondary every every one like one minute or one hour or whatever the time it may be okay so that is happening synchronous data replication what is the synchronous and asynchronous synchronous in the sense continuously asynchronous in the sense not frequently or continuously okay so this is my database too i will open this database too uh, let me go to monitor so let it create first let's wait <coughs> okay still it's creating let's wait now we will discuss about read replica okay so listen so to create a read replica first you have to select <coughs> one of your database instance so my first database is already available right i will select this database then we have an option over here modify so i'll just click on modify 
see if you want to create read replica first you have to click action then you can create a read replica from here okay if you want to scale vertically then you have to click modify so first we will go with the vertical scaling okay so let me select modify Okay, so you have to select the version, whichever the version you want. So come down. So beneath you have an option instance configuration. <laughs> so here you can select DB T3 micro to DB T3 small or medium. So I'm going to select T3 small. So come down. You have to confirm this continue. Then we have a two option when apply to modification, apply immediately or apply during the next scheduled maintenance window. What does it mean? Ah, see, we have a two option. Either I can uh, update right now or else I have an option. So when I have a next maintenance window, for example, every Friday or every month, I have a maintenance window. So I can update over at that time. So I will select apply immediately, then modify DB instance. Okay. So successfully done. I'll refresh. So now you can see that both database are modifying. See, this is, this is db t3.micro and I already given instruction to convert it from t3micro to t3small, right? So it will take two to three minutes. So let's wait. And same as if you want to create a read replica. So click on your one of the da database, then go to action. See, go to action. Uh, then click on create a read replica and select your region wherever you want to create so i'm going to select uh, one of the regions see while you're creating uh, like a standby instance so you can only create inside a region but different available zone but when you're creating read replica you can create different region as well okay so let it complete first let's wait okay so you can see the application name uh, replica source and I will select a replica identifier or random name. So then I will select a destination region. See, I created my primary server in where? Mumbai. Mumbai region. But I can create my read replica in different region as well. Okay. So I can like uh, restrict from another region access or like I can restrict some uh, like further action into that. That's what. So I will select uh, Cape Town or East Bahrain. Let me select Tokyo or else I will select Northern Virginia. That's enough. Okay. Then create a read replica. And that's going to create a database on uh, Northern Guruji, wherever it is. Okay, we have to select a yes. expert region. Okay, because that is modifying, because we already created an instruction to update our DB instance. That is modifying, that is not available at the right time. That's what actually we get in this error. DB instance is not available at this time. Okay, I hope you understood. We, we uh, learned three methods. One is vertically we can scale. So, what, what is the steps? Okay, we have to go to modify, then we have to select the instant type from T3 micro to T3 small or whatever the size you want. Then uh, multiple available zone deployment. What is it? So we will be have a standby and we will be have a primary. So primary every time will be active. When the primary is down, automatically it will redirect to standby. Then third method, scaling. Read replicas. What is the difference between read replica and uh, multi available zone deployment like a standby? Uh, see uh, the read replica that will only support read operation so at the present time that will support read read operation but that will not support write operation but standby present time that would not be active so once the primary down then only it will active that's the basic difference and second difference read replica you can deploy different different region but multi AC deployment standby you can deploy in the same region okay any doubt